Hello all, this is Havoc here. Um, we are in a, well we're actually, we're playing Space Engineers. I got a uh, sandbox world opened up here and I want to try to create some active armor. Uh, a lot of people are making weapons in the game, but uh, I'm not seeing many people coming up with ways to combat this. So, um, I came up with this idea not too long ago, and what I want to try to do is find a way to combat guns. Um, the Gatling guns just start shredding armor. Um, I'm going to start with light blocks first, and then go from there. Uh, so, we're here, and we're going to get out a welder. Uh, some of you can probably already envision where I'm going with this, but... Uh, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take and put a couple welders here, or a couple uh, cargo containers, and I'm going to put welders on the other side. So now the goal would be, at least so I'd hope, is that... Uh, Um, this is a place you're expecting to get hit or aiming your ship towards. Like if you're doing raiding on these uh, pirate ships that float around, aim this part of the ship towards that. Maybe even put a decoy block. Um, let's try that. Putting a decoy block, one of these, in here. And so, you know, the ship is going to shoot in this general vicinity just based upon this. Uh, decoys take priority over all the rest of the blocks. So by placing this here, you can almost guarantee that the enemy ships are going to shoot at the decoy. So um, what we're going to do is, uh, let's see here, how do we... We need steel plates. I'm almost positive of that. I don't think this will work without them. Hmm. We're also going to throw down a cockpit real quick. Climb in here. And we're going to come over here and we're going to throw the welders down here to toggle on and off. So they should be on. So they're there. They're on. And this thing is equipped with sniper rifles. Uh, I guess we can try with those first. I'll just throw some Gatling guns on the outside just for, for giggles. Because we're outside of it right now. It makes it easier. I do not expect this kind of armor to hold up to... Uh, um, actual, like... Uh, uh, missiles it's this missiles are extremely powerful in this game and and as they should be i mean it it, it changed dog fighting and you know modern airplanes when we switched from guns to missiles so be no different in this game so let's see here all right so our welders are kicking away Let's come over here and uh, see what happens. Well, look at that. That had the desired effect that I was hoping for. Now, see, what I'm looking for is... Yeah, see, they did eventually lose. Well, let's move to these. See what happens. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> so the larger caliber bu bullets can get through it because it's too much shock damage. All right, so let's do something here. 
Let's continue this experiment. Let's bring this up a notch. Like so. Now, I'm just guessing but the Gatling guns are probably just barely ahead of the welders. If this is survival, I have a feeling we'd run out of bullets before we'd get through this. Because that's... That's a lot of fire. Alright, let's let that weld up. And let's try the uh, sniper rifle again. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get them both on the same block again. So that's two sniper rounds. Right into the same block. And you can hear them in there now, just welding away. So this active armor idea is somewhat feasible. Um, <laughs> not so much for light armor. <laughs> But uh, definitely for the heavy armor. I mean, that's that's four Gatling guns just going nuts and not doing anything. Yeah, they just can't keep up. All right, let's see here. Let's uh, let's try something else here. Let's up it just a notch. Because we already know that uh, sniper rifles are pretty uh, overpowered. They're pretty extreme. They follow along the lines of uh, missile launchers as far as overpowering. Um, but uh, this is, you're just not gonna find this on a ship either. So, I just wanted to see. <laughs> uh, looks like dominoes. Um, and that will do it. <laughs> Again, on the excessive side. But uh, that's only two welders as well. So, um, let's try upping that. Actually, instead of doing that, we're going to do this. Alright, so this active armor idea is... Did I just put that way over there? I did. This is shaping up... Um, way cooler than I thought it would. Um, I had tried something similar in the past and it didn't work. But um, when I saw in the patch notes they added or they had addressed an issue that welders would not work on in an area where the welder tip was occupying the same place. So thusly, so I'm pretty sure that that's where the bug came from was where I wasn't able to do this in the past. So, all right, let's see here. So we're gonna go into K. We're gonna group these together. That'll make it easier. Because the last time I only had two. So we'll get rid of those. Go to groups. Throw that down here and toggle on off. We're going to have to turn those two that we have already on off, or otherwise they'll be indifferent to each other. There we go. So all those welders are now turned on, trying a tremendous amount of power. Again, not 
not sure that this would be efficient in survival like this, but um, something in test. So I'm trying to think that, you know, you're not going to be able to hit dead on perfect every time. And this is also, as we were talking about, a crazy amount of guns. So let's go back and uh, let's take this down to a reasonable level again. So that seems fair. Do we still have all our welders in place? And it looks like it's so. All right, so. All right, let's see what happens now. Something tells me this isn't. This would not work. It's just you're not going to get through. Oh, it got there eventually. Man, that took a long time though. So let's try something else out. So we take new large ship. Flip you over, buddy. Let me throw the lock on here. Get us a reactor. Then we're going to throw us on there a turret. Let's see how the turret does against it. Okay. So the problem is, is that right now the turret is not going to shoot at my own stuff. So. So now we're going to make this decoy be the enemy faction. Maybe. Or how about one of those welders? Oops. Yes. Shoot, friend. <laughs> uh, let's see here. There we go. That's fine. You can take that out. In fact, let me help you. He's going for those welders. That's pretty interesting. He can't keep up. You see the metal deforming and then replacing back and forth, back and forth. See what happens here. Let's up the ante. Ah. So that's two turrets shooting in the same spot. Um, they're it's hit and miss. The welders definitely appear that they're keeping up. But that's if you didn't allow them to uh, 
Oh, the welders are breaking free. So in survival, you still would have to take into ammo into consideration. Those things are just going crazy with unlimited ammunition focused in one spot. You could be rotating your ship. Um, there's a few different things you can do to prevent them from breaking through that one spot. I mean, they are definitely winning. So let's go like this. Like that. Let's make it, bring it to the point of failure. Control panel, Gatlin's three and four. You're not owned by me. Yeah, see, look at that. Now, because if this had been a survival, um, these would be out of bullets. Okay, so I'm noticing that they broke through where at the top where there isn't a welder above it. I see they're having a hard time getting through this one because there's two welders hitting that block. It's an impressive sight. Makes a lot of cool sounds too. These guns just whizzing away is pretty badass. That makes me wonder. Why don't we climb over here and help out, shall we? There we go. We're getting to it. Oh. Oh, hey, guess what? Um, I'm an enemy faction. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. So that was fun. So. That goes to prove my point, though, that this is... Well, that doesn't prove my point. But this does. This is a viable source of, uh, of armor. So, all right. Quiet. Silence, I say. And then there they go. Rebuilding away. All right. So that was that. Um... Personally, I um, was hoping it would turn out like that. I wasn't sure it would turn out that good. Uh, it really wasn't. And they ended up repairing the other welder. Uh, a few of these welders were shot down. It appears that they uh, ended up fixing each other. That's slick. So, um, off. All right, so that was my attempt at active armor. Um, not exactly the way the military uses it. Um, but uh, for space engineers, I think this would uh, be pretty slick. Uh, comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, ways to change it up. Um, I've got these modded uh, welders that I'm using in my Let's Play. And uh, they would be pretty cool with this because of the orientation that you could put them in. Um, let's see if I can find them here. Here we go. So they have a, uh, a range setting. So you can put them at uh, a further uh, distance. So I would probably see it being something like this. Where you have a modded connector. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you'd have a modded connector, and uh, there we go. I want this one. You have a modded connector like this, and then one of these. 
Oh, so that wouldn't work on this. It has to be on a small ship. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this is what that wilder looks like. So you can get an idea of where I was going with that idea. So it looks like that. Pretty interesting. So uh, again, guys, uh, like, comment. Um, especially on the comments, I like to figure out uh, some more intriguing ways of setting this up and maybe even using this on a live ship. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do is uh, set up a demo find one of those scout ships who are show up and then go attack it. So, all right, this is Havoc, and I uh, hope you guys liked my little idea. Talk to you next time.